one useful peripheral component that has remained untouched and been rarely discussed and used in smart home devices is this buzzer. A buzzer or beeper is an inexpensive audio signaling device that can be integrated into your existing devices to notify about certain important events occurring inside your home automation system. So in today's video, you will learn how a buzzer can be configured and how it can be controlled over the MQTT from your smart home servers. Let's get started. Buzzers are available in different types, sizes and voltages. But for using them with microcontrollers, we need a 3.3V or 5V buzzer only. Here I am using a 5V buzzer and an ESP8266 Node MCU board for the demonstration purpose. First we need to flash Tasmota firmware on the Node MCU board. The simplest way to flash is by using Tasmotizer. Open Tasmotizer, click on Release and Tasmotize. Once flashing is complete, check and connect to a new Wi-Fi network named Tasmota. Once connected, it will automatically open a web page at 192.168.4.1. Select your Wi-Fi network here and provide password. Now it is showing the IP address allotted to it by your router. Note it down and connect back to your router. Open the noted IP and you will be presented with this Tasmota dashboard. By default, the Tasmota firmware is configured for Sonoff basic switch. The switch shown here controls GPIO 12 or pin D6 of the Node MCU board because in Sonoff Basic, this pin is connected to the onboard relay. You can directly connect a buzzer to pin D6 and the ground pin and can control it like a switch. This is the easiest way to use a buzzer and you will get a continuous beep on turning on the switch. But Tasmota also offers some buzzer specific functions for advanced usage. Let's talk about that also. Open configuration and configure module. If you are using a Sonoff basic switch, you can use any of these five free GPIO pins. I'm using Node MCU board. So let's change the module type to generic 18. Hit save. Again, go there. And now you have all the available pins to configure. We had connected the buzzer to pin D6. So configure pin D6 as buzzer. That's it. Save it. And on the dashboard, now you won't see anything configured. To control your buzzer, open console and type buzzer1. Press enter. And if you just heard a beep, you have configured your buzzer successfully. Otherwise, make sure if you have made the connections right. The buzzer section on Tasmota website explains the command parameters in detail. But in short, the first number in buzzer command is the number of beeps it will play. So buzzer 1 plays a single beep and buzzer 2 beeps twice. By default, the duration of each beep is 100 milliseconds, which is one tenth of a second. If you want to increase this duration, you need to add a second number in the command, like buzzer 2, 5. The 5 indicates the duration of each beep to be 500 milliseconds. Perfect. Now the duration of the silence between two beeps is also 100 milliseconds by default. But we can change that too by adding a third number to our command like this. Do check the buzzer section on Tasmota website for reference 
so that you can play with the command parameters to get the desired patterns to play. If you use Tasmota rules, you can use the buzzer command in rules also. Otherwise, you can control the buzzer from Home Assistant over MQTT. Let's see how. First, configure the MQTT settings in Tasmota. For that, go to Configuration and configure MQTT. In Host field, provide your MQTT or Home Assistant server IP address. Provide MQTT username and password here and a MQTT unique topic here and save. After restart, go to console and copy this command line starting with cmnd. Now in Home Assistant, let's create a sample automation to use the buzzer in it. In the action field, select call service, select MQTT publish. In topic field, paste the topic that we had just copied from Tasmota console. Replace power with buzzer. Select payload and write buzzer parameters. Hit save. Now let's test the automation. And wow, it worked. So this way you can integrate a buzzer into your home automation setup and use it to get notified in a new way. I hope the information shared will be useful for you. If yes, let me know by hitting the like button below. To get more of such practical smart home ideas, do subscribe this channel if you haven't yet. Stay connected and we will meet in the next video soon. Till then, goodbye friends.